Da, 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 I have experienced so much delight over the past couple of months. I'm sure for those of you who follow this channel on a regular basis, and more specifically than that, my music-related coverage, you're already aware of the sentiment I'm about to express. But I've had a really great time bringing music into a grander focus on this channel. It's an art form that I've always wanted to share and give more of a spotlight to in comparison to other forms as well, which I try to give you know, an even focus to everything. I mean, it's hard sometimes. You know, maybe I do overstretch myself occasionally. Covering so much content, it does you know pull you every which way but I like to showcase talent wherever I find it. And for me, music, as fun as those other art forms and expressions are, and as much as I love them, you know, let's say, for example, cinema and television, I do cover a pretty substantial variety and range of entertainment. Music for me has always been such a first love and dominant passion in my life, not just based on the talent of the artists themselves, and I find so much talent, at least in you know the music I've experienced, but the journeys that you find in people's lives and experiencing such grand contributions in the world, and it's such beautiful tapestries, you know, again, on a global scale at this point from what I've covered and what I've discovered for myself, music for me really is just it's that potent art form that above everything else I'd love to showcase. And it is quickly, at least in the recent months, outranking everything else I cover on this channel, it seems. But that just expresses my love for it. But even deeper than that, to be more specific than just, oh, you know, I love music, but let's make that a little more uh, narrow. European metal, as a metalhead, of course, that's, you know, typical genre favored for me, but European stuff specifically, I am very impressed by the talent I found in that specific area of the world, maybe in one of those countries. The artists that I've experienced art from truly captivate my attention. And there's so many groups I've given recognition to ever listening to their tunes on this channel or perhaps just giving a name drop every once in a while. And I'm sure many artists that I have yet to stumble upon that I'm hopefully going to get an introduction soon to it. I certainly have a list of names that's growing. I'm elated every time I introduce myself to a European artist, which at this point, the entire spectrum of what I covered on this channel I've been impressed by. The passion, the the grand presentation that I find within European music specifically and European talent really impresses me. Mortemia fits that bill. Now, the way I judge music, perhaps, and I also to give uh, as a side point, I love showcasing perhaps talent that's more limited in its audience uh, uh, knowledge. Maybe some people don't oftentimes. It's similar, let's say, for example, with cinema, right? With the indie film market. I love to showcase films like that because the art that I found, well, really, in that area, it's, you know, I like big studio films, but operating without constraints, oftentimes in the message of what you find of an indie fair, you oftentimes get a very potent, uh, resonant experience. The same has been true with music, especially from artists that are perhaps more unfamiliar. And I love to showcase, judging what I, what I say is unknown talent, I define by my social circle, which is probably a little more isolated and narrow than most others out there. But most of the groups I listen to, my friends group, has no clue who I'm talking about 90% of the time. And so perhaps it's an appeal to them to you know, experience talent outside of mainstream Hollywood, oftentimes where I don't find the most you know evident talent, to be honest with you, at least for maybe some more of the well-known artists. Again, I, find, I typically tend to gravitate towards the more alternative and lesser known, because that's just where I see talent abound. I hope to introduce artists that perhaps deserve a grander spotlight. And maybe you're a little more limited, you know, in regard to retention. I hope to have a share of experience with you. Mortemia is one of those groups that I fit under that bill. Again, judging by my social circle, no one knows that name. But I've been very impressed in the two tracks I've listened to thus far with this artist who, for those of you who, again, are unfamiliar with Mortemia, he is a Norwegian one-man show, I believe, uh, in the gothic metal scene. Very impressive work. Uh, very symphonic, at least in the tracks I've heard. Real electronic vibe, too, in certain parts, but it feels like, in some places, it feels like a bit of an orchestral experience. And what brought me into him, in particular, was the... Uh, um, Contributing collaborations. In the previous two tracks, let's say, for example, uh, Zola Kalk and Linda Tony Gron, uh, respectively speaking, in regard to those tracks and where they were placed, what else is there and forever and beyond. Both tracks really impressed me, but I guess to rewind the clock a bit on that, um, my journey with Mortemia was very interesting, right? I'm very familiar with Zora Kalk, for example, from Blackbriar, another fabulous group. They're uh, Netherlands based, I believe, or uh, Dutch. Beautiful if you never listened to them. And Zora, Zora's just got such a commanding voice. But Zora was my gateway to finding Mortemia because she did that collaboration. And then from there, I knew about Mortemia. And then I came across Linda Tony Gron for maybe, you know, what's more well known as Fall of a Cipher, another very talented group. That's how I got introduced to another artist out there. I like this little gateway that Mortemia seems to provide 
beyond just, again, the initial of me journeying from Zora to uh, Mortemia, coming across all these European artists that are unfamiliar to me, again, these are all fresh experiences. And I just, I have such a joy in being able to share that uh, time with you. We're getting a similar situation in the case with this video uh, for this track called Lost Horizon. This is off of his main compilation album, I guess, the Pandem or the Pandemic Pandemonium Sessions. I still love that name, and the, the cover art is beautiful. We're having a similar parallel experience to the Linda Tony Gron song, and that again, I didn't know Linda Tony Gron. In the same way that I don't know Erica Olsen, who, from my brief amount of research, is a Swedish based singer um, from the band uh, Metalite. I'm not familiar with them. I believe she's the lead vocalist. I'm coming across a lot of groups in Sweden, by the way. Like Linda Tony Gron is Sweden based, Dead by April, and never favorite of mine, they're based in Sweden. So now we can add Erica Olsen to the mix. Let's give not only her voice a try, because I believe she's doing the female vocals here. Or maybe, you know, more team is joined. And he sends him, let's say, in the, the past of the uh, Forever and Beyond, like his scream was beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the song. This is the lyric video. So normally I, I have to superimpose the lyrics as well, but these in the case of the video are provided to you. Let's share a fun experience, I'm sure. Again, the past two tracks I listened to of Mortemia, excellent listens and re-listens in my opinion. I can't stop listening to them because they're just so good and I want to hear more from not only him, but I also want to get introduced to more talent out there from the European scene. Typically, it seems with him in Sweden. Not Zora, a bit of a different situation because I believe she's Dutch. But then you have uh, Linda Tony Gron and now in this case, Erica Olsen, both from Sweden. So let's broaden my understanding, it seems, of a Sweden uh, music market specifically. All right, Lost Horizon, let's give this a try. I like the piano introduction. It's a bit softer, but you can kind of hear it coming in. That harsher vibe. That is a fabulous riff. I love it. Oh! Nice snare. <laughs> I love it. Oh wow, this is a deep song. I love the lyrical construction. Wow, oh, this, this is perfect metal in my opinion. I love it. It's a rich voice. I like it just blends into the piano notes. That's great. Just the keyboard. It, oh, I love her voice. Ooh. Good elevation to pitch, eh? Gorgeous. so much fun watching the videos too like he's got all these naturalistic scenic images it's just beautiful makes you want to tour europe <laughs> i'm not a traveler <laughs> yeah, that, that was a really good transition i just love the abrupt uh, uh switch That rapid speed of the keyboard is just that's beautiful blend here. <laughs> Bit softer here. It's got a launch chance in the next section, I'm sure. Let's see. Oh, gorgeous! <laughs> Perfect! I 
for a one-man show, I'm very impressed. Like, the Owl City of Metal, it seems. I was just gonna say, I wonder how that was gonna end. I wonder if he's gonna do it like a repetition of the first, uh, of the opening, which is so strong. I mean, that, that's probably my favorite thus far. Um, but it's much more in the direction of, let's say, the uh, previous one, Forever and Beyond, of a Lenny Tony Grand song. Bega there was a bit of a shift, you know, between tracks. Let's say, for example, the first time I covered Mortemia, um, what else is there? That was more along the lines of a ballad direction. And then you know, Forever and Beyond came along, and it was like, okay, you know, we're gonna go more intensive with the metal side, or I mean, again, you, there was, like, it was more of, I would say, this, there was an atmosphere to what else is there that lended itself to the material, or that material, the uh, metal scene, but you really get that heightened energy, though, I think, better with Linda Tony Gron in the Forever and Beyond. This paced really well. This just felt like the typical metal song I listened to at its highest energy. Just gorgeous. I mean, that... It, it, in, I'm gonna say it was just a perfect tune, in my opinion. And in respect to Erica Olsen, again, first introduction. As captivating as Linda Tony Gron and, you know, Zora Cock and hearing their contributions to Mortemia in the past. I'll have to give... What was the band name? Uh, Metalite. Keep that one noted. I'll see if they release anything. So maybe there's some older tracks I can look at. Really impressive. Uh, the transitions as well in that song were just so perfectly placed. And the way they cut to it, and it, it again, the kind of jumping between that harsher side of Mortimia's vocals, I love that typical metal scream. It's perfect from him too. I mean, again, it's like, it's harsh, it's dark, it's staple metal, and I love it. But complementing that with a soft ballad uh, number it was softer energy that perfectly mimicked, in my opinion, a second section with the keyboard and the rapid speed of the, those notes being hit. Oh, it was seamless. And then for her to elevate her pitch at the end, I mean, it's just gorgeous. High marks and high regard for this song. Probably my favorite thus far from Mortemia. I'm going to keep looking. I got a couple tracks that I've got stacked up to look at in the future again, in particular to introduce myself to other artists out there. Um, Erica Olsen. Is it never or Olson, I guess? I'm not sure exactly sure you pronounce your name. Feel free to correct me down below in the comment section if I'm wrong. Another fine addition. And far as far as Mortemia is concerned, another great contribution to the pandemic pandemonium sessions. I love this project. I love these tunes so far. This is exactly why I love European metal. I am more than impressed. What are your guys' thoughts, though, with this new song? And perhaps for some of you, uh, this is a first introduction, right? Maybe not all of you are familiar with Mortemia. What was your first experience like? Maybe some of you are. Where do the tracks as far, I would say, in comparison, again, for the past two I've looked at and this one, which is your favorite off of the album? What were your thoughts on the song overall? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm very impressed. Beautiful song. Top favorite already instant replay for me, and I cannot wait to introduce myself to more stuff from Mortemia, and perhaps in the future, um, Erica Olsen, perhaps, you know, specifically with, with her talents, or perhaps through Metalite. I don't know. I'll have to see what the future holds. I mean, I got a lot of our artists to look at, especially in the Europe scene, so it's, I've got a list that just builds, it seems, every day. I'm grateful I found Mortemia, though. I'm very impressed with his work. Gorgeous music. Beautiful metal. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.